for our video recording purposes of the demonstration we will be working with our hoods raised all the way just so that the reflection of the glass doesn't interfere with our recording so please note that this is not the correct way to be working in the hood but we have the hood sashes raised only so that the glass reflection does not interfere with our recording today's experiment is recrystallization we use recrystallization to purify an impure solid what we are going to use our as our compound today is triphenylmethane this triphenylmethane obviously is impure it contains soluble impurities insoluble impurities as well as colored impurities so we will try to purify this impure triphenylmethane by recrystallization method to purify an impure solid by recrystallization what we need to do is first figure out the solvent of choice for recrystallizing what are the criteria that you have to bear in mind while selecting a solvent for recrystallization purposes the solid in this case the triphenylmethane will have to be insoluble in the solvent at room temperature but should dissolve in the solvent when heated in the steam bath and then when you cool this solution in which your solid has dissolved at higher temperature in an ice bath the solid should reappear so the solvent which satisfies all these criteria would be the one to use for recrystallization the choice of solvents we have for today's recrystallization purposes are here the first one is water we have methanol and toluene so one of these three solvents is going to be the best one for recrystallizing impure triphenylmethane when you are testing the solubility what i would like you to do is use standard triphenylmethane and not impure triphenylmethane the reason being since this is the first time you are doing recrystallization the insoluble impurities that are present in the impure compound may throw you off while selecting the solvent so please do bear in mind that you have to use the standard triphenylmethane for selecting the suitable solvent for recrystallization purposes now what i am going to do is demonstrate this selection of the solvent for recrystallization however i am not going to use this standard triphenylmethane i am just going to use another compound i'm just going to use benzoic acid and demonstrate this selection of the suitable solvent for recrystallization the reason being i would like you to figure out the right solvent for recrystallizing impure triphenylmethane so when you do the solubility test on the standard triphenylmethane and come up with the solvent please do check with the instructor to make sure that you have selected the right solvent so let us go on and determine the solubility or the solvent for recrystallizing benzoic acid in this case here how do we do the solubility test you take different test tubes notice that i have taken three test tubes here i have also labeled these test tubes with the respective solvents the first one i have labeled it as water the second one methanol and the third one as toluene so let us take benzoic acid in these three test tubes and check the solubility how much of the solid would you should you be taking you want to take about a tip full of the spatula 
of the solid that you are using. So, I am going to take this benzoic acid in this test tube that I have labeled water and about the same amount in the second test tube that is labeled methanol. and a third portion in the third test tube. Remember, you will be testing the solubility of the standard triphenyl methane. I am just using another sample.